The connection between toy trains and Christmas has been well established in the United States over the past century. But what about Easter? How to make a simple Easter train display on this episode of Toy Train Tips and Tricks. Hello again, this is Mike with another episode of Toy Train Tips and Tricks. In the United States, toy trains and Christmas go together, well, like Santa and reindeer. But what about Easter? For some reason, jelly beans and toy trains just don't mix in American minds in the same way that trains and tinsel are linked. But it's not for lack of trying. In the 1930s, Lionel produced the Peter Rabbit Chickmobile, a whimsical mechanical Easter toy in both flanged versions for O-Gage Track and an unflanged version for use as a floor toy. Sadly, it didn't catch on. The 1977 animated film The Easter Bunny is Coming to Town, the definitive backstory of the seasonal bunny, prominently features a steam-powered train in its narrative. But the film failed to have the same impact on Easter as the Polar Express has had on Christmas trains. But I say it's time to change all that. Trains can, and should, be part of our celebration along with the jelly beans, eggs, and chocolate bunnies. And it can be done cheaply and often utilizing equipment that you already have in your collection. While you can certainly operate an Easter-themed train on your regular layout, I am making a simple tabletop display layout appropriate for the occasion. I believe that any excuse to get the trains out of the basement where visitors can see them is a good excuse. All you need in addition to the trains is a tabletop large enough to accommodate a small oval or circle of track and some handy decorations from your local dollar store. I started with a plastic tablecloth in a festive color. There are many from which to choose. This one can double as a green screen background for chroma key video effects. These cost $1.25 at the local Dollar Tree. Next, a basket to serve as a centerpiece. After Easter, this one can be easily converted into a basketball net for the office or kids' room. After all, tis the season for basketball in America. Has your bracket been blown yet? Then some shredded grass, a few plastic eggs, and your choice of candy. Each of these items was purchased at the Dollar Tree, but similar items could also be found at any large retailer this time of year. And I can save all these items and use them again next year. <laughs> Except, of course, the candy, which likely won't survive until the Monday after Easter. For the train itself, there are many options. I like to use basic Marx train sets for this application. They are colorful and simple to operate. They have a whimsical look and they're smaller than scale so they don't dominate the display. Most of Marx's starter sets came with a gondola and hopper car that we can fill with candy. And best of all, you can often find complete Marx starter sets with Transformer for $50 or less at auction sites or on local swap pages. Customizing the train with holiday stickers can make it even more festive. With Mark's items, it's highly unlikely that you will be destroying a rare collectible item. To load with candy, simply dump it into your gondola or hopper. For eggs, cut simple egg holders for your guns from cardboard, foam core board, or styrofoam, and give them a coat of festive paint. There are many options for Lionel and other trains as well. Of course, if you are lucky enough to own a Lady Lionel set or one of the many reproductions, the pastel colors of these sets will look great in an Easter setting. Otherwise, just look for smaller, brightly colored rolling stock. How about a blue NYC gondola? Yellow hopper cars? Of course, this is also a great way to showcase those operating dump cars. Remember, on a display layout, the trains will be mainly running circles, so motor power should be small and simple. This MPC-era blue Central New Jersey steamer is a perfect choice for the occasion. Please pardon the missing pilot. It was lost in an off-the-table accident years ago. I haven't replaced it because I plan to add a front coupler so I can double-head this with other small Lionel steamers someday. Candy-themed cars also work well. Knife Savers, Tootsie Roll, or even Menard's recent line of M&Ms and other candy cars will look great on a display like this. There have been a few attempts by Lionel and other manufacturers to light the spark of Easter-themed trains since the pre-war Lionel Chickmobile. 
Among Lionel's attempts were the Easter Egg Express set from 2019, featuring an 060 steamer and special side duck cars that were perfect for carrying and dispensing candy. Lionel also made an operating Easter Bunny boxcar a few years back. MTH made a few M&M's licensed Easter boxcars as well, but for whatever reason, the connection between Easter and toy trains has never materialized in the way that it has with Christmas and in recent years, Halloween. But we can fill in with our own festive trains where the manufacturers have failed. Or who knows, maybe a holiday train centerpiece might light the spark of toy trains and a visitor to your home this year. After all, we can never have too many sharing the hobby. To all my viewers, I wish the greatest blessings upon you and your families. And to my Christian viewers, I remind you to not forget the real reason for this Easter celebration. And for everyone, keep the trains running, and we'll see you next time on Toy Train Tips and Tricks.